Hello everyone, welcome to RGB Link YouTube channel. This is Luke. Um, this is another episode of Mini ISO 101. And we have great news here. We have just released new firmware uh, for Mini ISO version 1.7. Oh. And uh, I know this is the firmware you have been all been waiting for, uh, for quite some time. In this firmware, we have done some important uh, implementations, including uh, improvements uh, of performance and uh, new functions. Okay, so we're gonna spend a couple of uh, videos uh, to explore and uh, to demo you uh, the, this in this new, new firmware what have been done uh, to makes the me to make the Mini ISO, the perfect, the dream switches for you with multiple channel input capacity and all-in-one solutions. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with uh, how to upgrade your Mini ISO to the latest firmware. Uh, we just released version 1.7. So first thing first, uh, make sure the your mini ISO is connected to the internet. So you don't have to download anything from the computer to upgrade. You can just start upgrade on your mini ISO. Okay? So after you have set up the network connections, go to settings, uh, scroll around to upgrade, update right here. Okay, Update, uh, you will automatically search for the latest firmware. You can see right here, 1.70. Okay, simply just press uh, press update and it will start in download a new firmware and after that it will do automatic upgrades uh, it's gonna take uh, roughly around five to ten minutes okay and uh, after it finished you have to do resets uh, for the reset to make sure everything goes smoothly with the new firmware Let's spend some time to wait for the devices to fully upgrade it. And then let's check out the, all the new things of this new firmware. Okay, so we spent like uh, eight minutes uh, for the mini ISO to upgrade. First thing after the upgrade finished, go to settings and scroll down to reset. Okay, you're gonna want to reset the devices after every upgrade. Okay, and after the reset completed, uh, restart, power off, and power on the yes. Okay, so that's how you upgrade your mini ISO to the latest firmware. Okay. Uh, all on the devices without downloading the firmware from your laptop without needing any uh, additional tools. Okay, uh, let's move on. Let's see some of the new implementation and improvements uh, for this firmware. Okay. First things uh, I want to show you is for the uh, user interfaces. Okay, so for the previous firmware, we got a lot of feedback saying that when you operate in uh, only touch screens. Uh, the menu seems to has delayed while you're scrolling left and right, and up and down. Uh, okay, for so uh, we spent some time, and uh, in this firmware, uh, the menu operation is on the touch screen is much improved. Okay, let's see. Open up the menu, scrolling left and right. Okay, going to the sub menu, going to settings. Uh, Going down, up, and down. Okay. Uh, going to the device versions, tell clouds, that's going up, and all the IP settings. Okay. Um, you can see the operation is much smoother and without any delays, and uh, it's a quick response. Okay. This really can help you to uh, make your operations manual on the devices much easier compared to previous firmware. Courses. Okay. 
Um, the the second things we're gonna cover as for the input channel five. Okay? Um, as we all know in the previous firmware uh, and what we, what we showed in the previous videos, the input five channel five supports NDI and the UVC cameras as sources as input channel input signals. And in this firmware, we have implement new signals for the input five, which is building media players. Okay, with this function support, you can uh, play any uh, MP4 files uh, from your uh, USB flash drive from your external storage devices uh, connected to the mini ISO. Okay, and as your um, uh, video files. Let's see how you can. First thing, uh, you will, you will need to know how to store your where to store your video files. Okay, let's take a look on your USB flash drive. You will need to create a folder named uh, Mini SO, and uh, you can create a folder of videos, and you can store your video files on this folder. Okay, uh, the 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 format for the video file is MP4s, and the maximum resolution is 1080p. And then close this. So you're gonna unplug your your drive and insert it to your mini SO. Okay. Uh, you're gonna insert it to the recording port on the, on the right side of the mini SO. So that that's going to the input setting. Uh, input 5 okay scroll down you will see the new option as media files from there okay so on the on the left window you will see the all the files uh, video files you have saved uh, in your uh, external storage devices uh, USB file drive and you can select either one uh, to play it okay so this will be your then this will be your fifth input five sources. Okay, you can see here. Let's bring up the multi view. Okay, so you can use your input five as uh, any of just same as you or any of the uh, your speed of sources. Okay, choose it as uh, choose as a program uh, for the for the previews. Also, we bring it directly to the uh, programs. As you. And uh, you got other settings, and, uh, and you can uh, you can have different uh, play modes. You can have a single uh, file loop, or you can have you can use it, disable it, and use it as a random display mode and play all from the from the list. Okay, so that's the media building media player. For the input five, okay. Uh, so you get you 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 now you get with a new firmware you got one more options uh, as your sources, okay. And really expand the capacity of the media so input to the next level. Okay? So and the next things, another thing, uh, something that we all have been waiting for the web server of the uh, of the media. So, okay. We all know, and we know that uh, for remote controls, uh, Mini has already for top clouds, uh, as you can control overly public public network on the clouds. Okay, and uh, now we have we now present another way to do remote controls in your local network uh, as a web service uh, for control. Okay, so you don't have to download anything; just type in the IP address. So and on your browsers, log into your uh, mini ISO web server. Okay. So on the mini ISO, you have to check out the IP address. Okay. So that's my IP address of mini ISO. Okay. Go to my laptop right here. Laptop on your on your browser. Type in the uh, IP address here, and there we go. 
So that's that's the web service uh, of Mineso. You you can do some uh, very basic and uh, configuration or operation on it, uh, such like yeah. See, uh, you can change the transition effects, uh, chroma key, enable disable chroma key, and output setting. I I found that this this was important uh, for the streaming address. You can direct on this also as same as the tau clouds you can uh, you can downstream uh, you, you can download this the, the streaming address to the main so and start and uh, start on air and uh, stop on air okay? as well as another thing is PTC controls I found that this is really cool you can do PTC controls by mini so on its web servers okay let's see how it works bring up the multi view so you can see my camera okay. so the for the input too uh, which is SDI thing knows uh, you can do camera controls okay and then tune it to different uh, directions and zooming and zoom out okay and change your focus of courses and also for the SDI three input channels uh, three, okay. and you can also adjust the TV here, okay. It comes really handy when you don't want to do it on the devices, but you will need to do it. Uh, you can do it on the web server to control the PC camera. Okay. And I'm not gonna go through all the functions. You can just upgrade the firmware. Uh, you change uh, to check out the how uh, how it works with the web server to control your media. Okay. So that's everything we're gonna cover for this video, uh, the part one of uh, media. So new firmware introductions, and we're gonna do another one to talk about the rest of new functions and the new implementations. Okay. So stay tuned uh, for our channels for any new videos post for uh, mini ISO uh, or for other Archivating products. Okay? Uh, as always, uh, share, like, and subscribe. Okay? Thank you for watching today's and I will see you in next videos. Bye-bye.